In this video I'll show you how to create fulfillment orders to your eBay, Etsy, Walmart, Shopify store orders using delivery and Amazon. It's a super efficient process and instead of wasting time on preparing orders or dropping them by USPS or UPS, it will allow you to focus on the important things in your business and not really be dependent on yourself or your employees to fulfill those orders. Hi, my name is Tomer from SourcingMonster.com. Welcome to another video and if it's your first time here and you want to learn how to create your own Amazon brand, selling private label products on Amazon and scaling it from anywhere in the world, start now by subscribing to the channel and click the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, so before I start and show how to create uh, Amazon fulfillment orders or using Deliver, uh, let me explain more why you, why you need it why you want to use fulfillment centers to sh fulfill orders that are not coming through like a FBA orders or coming like from Etsy eBay Walmart all of those places first of all there is a downside yeah it will cost you a little more to using a, a third-party warehouse instead of your you fulfilling it but on the long term, and that's point number three, if you want something scalable and want to grow your business fast, this is the way of building solding base and growth for your business. You don't want to fulfill your orders yourself, waste time packing things. You want to focus on the 2080. 2080 means that you want to focus on the 20% things that give you 80% of the results. Packing things and wasting an hour or two hours will not really allow you to focus on the new things. In my business, the 2080, the 20% is adding new items, doing the copywriting and doing the PPC. These are the 20% things that allowing me to grow and scale the business. And when I found out myself really doing all this legwork and, and preparing orders, packing them, taking them to the post office, this is something that uh, I figure that is a waste of time and I'm okay with uh, making a little less money but having something that is scalable. Another reason why you want to do it, you want control over your life. What happens if Q, uh, Q4 comes and you have to fulfill 50 or 200 orders every day? That's like two hours, three hours a day of packing and preparing the orders. Why? And I'll give my example. In the last Q4, and I didn't really sell a lot, it was only the time when I really started to scale and, and was really selling more than 100k a month. In revenue but I also got some orders from other channels like eBay Etsy Walmart and this was a really big distraction me on the busiest season uh, of the year really fulfilling orders so really think ahead always think long term what you can do to scale and prepare yourself another reason is vacation let's say you want to go to a vacation of like two weeks three weeks or even a week you don't want to let this sell go and just pause all the campaigns that's what i did in one uh, period that i had to go to a one week vacation i just paused all these leaks listings deactivated them so i'm not getting any sales but if i had a three uh, like an uh, external warehouse, uh, I could potentially fulfill those orders uh, through Amazon or through um, th this warehouse. Now, I had another problem that I didn't have enough inventory in Amazon to fulfill those orders, so I just deactivated them. That, that, that's a different issue. Uh, but it's something that you want to think on so first of all I will start by showing how to create fulfillment order let's say you got an order from Etsy and you want to fulfill it through Amazon warehouse first of all I would say that if you do it on Etsy allow yourself enough time to process the order so when you create a listing in Etsy eBay Walmart is not really that flexible but Etsy eBay Shopify store of course that's your own store you have full control but when you can define the time that it will take you to prepare the orders in my case I just do it three to five business days but I create the order right away when I get it why because when we use the standard shipping on Amazon it takes them like three four five days to ship it so th that just the time that it takes them to prepare the order not the time that it actually takes to deliver because after it's being fulfilled I get the tracking number and then I just update that tracking number on Etsy and that's 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 what I need 
the the time frame it's ob obviously depends on what you uh, provider what service you actually provide in the listing itself in Etsy eBay whatever I use the free first class shipping so I give myself enough time they're not really expecting it to get like in a day or two so they know that it's coming um, so let's start first of all we'll go to seller central and we'll go to manage FBA inventory not the regular inventory Man manage FBA we're gonna go to one of the products and we're going to click uh, on the menu here and we're gonna click on create a fulfillment order here we're gonna put the name let's put test test um, street city doesn't matter if you have phone number put the phone number it will help with, with the tracking or the number or the number I always like to put the Etsy I always put Etsy and uh, if it's Etsy if it's eBay I will put eBay and then the eBay order number so let's say you get an eBay order number you put it here why because it will help you recognize this order fast here and do the connection in case you need to check if it was fulfilled or it's just good then we're going to go uh, and put the quantity as one this specific product I don't have anything but we're gonna click on one let's see if it's allowing me yeah uh, actually it's not so let's just do it again for an item that I have inventory this one I have 1500 units create fulfillment so test test testy testy eBay for eBay one okay unable to do the estimate okay so I put like a wrong address so a fake address generator I don't know let's just put something like that here let's go back let's put real name real details not real but This is Plano, Texas. Zip. Now it should allow us to create it. Okay, I always choose the standard because that's the cheapest. Then we're gonna click, I'm not gonna click on place order, but after you place the order, you're going to get a link. I usually like to put it in the Etsy or eBay comments, notes to the seller only. So I check it constantly or my VA check it constantly and then we update the tracking number uh, once it becomes available. That's how you can create an order on Amazon. Now I'm going to show you how to create an order using Deliver. Okay, so let me log in. First of all, if you didn't use Deliver before, you have to create first of all inbound shipments. Inbound shipments will allow you to, to send inventory to Deliver. It's very similar to the process when you create a shipping plan in Amazon. If you didn't watch the video, I'll put a link on how to prepare a shipping, uh, uh, create a shipping plan on Amazon to send your inventory to, uh, to, to Amazon. You can do the same thing with Deliver. I don't send the same quantities that I send to Amazon obviously because the volume that I have on eBay, Walmart, Shopify, Etsy is, n is like 20% out of all my sales that are coming on Amazon so you should have like 20% inventory comparing to the rest. Then you, you the, the way to create a new order you go to the orders tab and you're gonna click on create order and the same thing you're going to put the first name, last name, all of that. Let's put Tomer test 148088th street I don't know just put an address that came here and for item you're gonna put the item I put one item that I have we're gonna put the, the, the standard shipping you can do a fast shipping too but you can do a standard I'm gonna click a review order and then we're gonna create an order obviously the same thing I'm not gonna create it but then you will have an order number and all of that and you can update the Etsy or eBay too. So it's a very simple process and I definitely encourage you to implement this process, the, this way of thinking, yeah, maybe it will be $6 instead of you take it to the post office and at like 3 dollars to $4, 
but it's worth it. This time that it will take you and, and, and the way for you to scale it, it's, it's worth more than the difference in money. And, and, and believe me, it's, it's something that you should do uh, for the long run. Um, I hope you got value from this. Like this video. Subscribe if you want to create or learn how to create your own Amazon brand to learn from me, from my experience. And thank you. Thank you for watching. Take care.